Hey guys, my name is Shai and this pick a card reading is taking a look at what is returning to you. What is returning to you? And I have one tarot card for each pile here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm also going to draw a couple of extra oracle cards for every card to see to get a little bit more information about this thing that is returning to you. And I gotta say, I knew I wanted to make a video today, but I didn't know what it was going to be about, what the theme was going to be. And then I had a couple of very <laughs> synchronistic returns, a couple of things returning to me in a very funny way. And I just knew that the universe was trying to make this point. It was just trying to tell me, hey, look, that thing that you thought you lost, that thing that you thought was gone forever, it, it comes back. Everything returns. Nothing is ever lost. Everything returns to you. And whenever you see this, maybe that's what you needed to hear. And, you know, the timing is going to be different for everybody. But just know that the thing is going to return to you in a new in a new form, but with the same essence, and it's going to return to you exactly when everything clicks into place and exactly when you need it to. So it's going to be perfect and it's going to put a huge smile on your face when it finally pops back up in your reality. So I will see you in your reading. Okay, card number one. What is returning to you? Oh, jeez. <laughs> the world? <laughs> the, ent <laughs> the entire world is returning to you? <laughs> wow, I don't even know what to make that. <laughs> um, I, I'm willing to bet that you guys have, have really like been through a entire series of loss. So it's not just one thing. You don't have one thing on your mind. You guys are feeling like there has just been Maybe it's been years, maybe it's been years and years and years, maybe it's been lifetimes of things draining away from you, of things pulling away from you and that feeling of loss. But <laughs> look, the world is returning to you. This is... This... this... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, this goes way beyond just the simple things returning to you. Like, I gotta say, one of the things that returned to me today was a TV. Um, a, like, a year ago, when my husband and I rearranged our bedroom, we broke our 50-inch TV that we had in the bedroom. And, you know, we were just like, whatever, doesn't doesn't matter, it's just a TV, who cares? Um, and then a couple days ago, we rearranged our room again, and we accidentally rearranged the room in such a fashion where we're, I was like, wow, um, that's a perfect spot for a TV. It's too bad we broke that 50 inch TV. Oh well, um, whatever. And I go and walk the dog. And when I come back, there's a brand new 50 inch TV sitting in my bedroom. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't brand new, but my husband had driven past, um, like the, the part, the, the area of our apartment complex where people like leave stuff um, for their neighbors to take, like, you know, when people move out and they leave stuff and then someone can drive by and take it. And there was a 50 inch TV sitting there and we brought it up and it turned out to be just perfect. And I couldn't believe it. So I'm explaining that just because like, for me, that was the thing that, that inspired this reading. It was like a very obvious physical, tangible object, but it actually meant a lot to me re to receive this TV back, even though I don't even really watch TV in the bedroom very often. Right. <laughs> but I, I just knew it was a sign from the universe, right? It was a sign for the universe that like that everything is on point and that the universe is listening to me and that I, I really am being taken care of and looked after and it was so important and it was just such a good message and you guys need to hear that like really, really fully and completely and this is everything is going to be turning around for you is what this is. Everything is going to be turning around for you. Like this is the whole new, the whole new world, the whole new life. Um, Like this is like the feeling of being alive is returning to you. The feeling of of synchronicity is returning to you. The feeling of everything always works out for you, right? It's all coming back together. And just, yes, 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 yes. I don't, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know how to emphasize. This is like a massive turning point in your life. And you're going to start to notice it when little things return to you, when little things start falling into place, when you start seeing a massive uptick in synchronicities and just things suddenly going well for you. Suddenly things are going well for you and you might not believe it at first, right? You might be like, when's the other shoe going to drop? Is this really like, going to have those feelings of this is too good to be true? This is too good to be true. Uh, just try to relax into it. Just try to relax into it because this is, this is it. This is the shift you've been waiting for. 
a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. So somebody, yeah, like this, this is romance, this is partnerships, right? This is, yes, especially for those of you where you're really feeling it, um, really wanting more, like better friendships, better romances, like whatever it is in your life, this is definitely that, but this is so much bigger than that. Um, the world, okay? This is about you understanding that you are an equal to the universe, right? You are an equal to the universe. The universe is your partner. The universe is your partner in all things. You are partnered with the universe, okay? This is um, a massive up-leveling to the way that you are in relationship with the universe, right? You are in a relationship with the with the universe. So if before, if you have ever thought about the universe in terms of like, maybe, maybe you viewed um, source, the creator, God, the goddess, whatever, um, if you viewed the higher power as a kind of parent figure and yourself as a kind of child figure, you know, that's pretty common in all kinds of different thought systems, right, where it's this parent-child relationship. This is turning that completely sideways where you realize that you and the universe are partners. You are partners, you are equals, right? You and the universe are partners and equals. And, and, um, this completely, this, this marks, this is, this is all about you having a massive shift in your perception of how, how you manifest, how you live, how you communicate with the universe and just really think about what would it, how would your life be different? How would you live differently? How would you think differently? How would you manifest differently? How would you operate differently? What would it be like if you understood and really embodied the the idea, the belief that the universe is your partner and that you're in partnership with the universe? And what would it be like if you treated the universe like it like it is your partner how, how would you be different how would your life be different how would things be different for you and you can you can think about a partnership that you have any type of partnership that you have in your life that were that is really healthy and that is perfectly balanced and where you realize that you and the other person that you're partnered with right it ah uh, when everything is just healthy and in perfect balance and there is perfect trust and there is perfect symbi symbiosis and give and take and everything is in that beautiful libra balance right when everything like that clicks into place then ah uh, then then the partnership becomes like a force to be reckoned with right it's that thing you can always rely on and it is that thing that create that can create this this better more beautiful, more bountiful world. And you can have that same relationship and you are meant to have that same relationship. Like this is how it's supposed to work. You're meant to have that kind of relationship with the universe, right? So that's what that's what that's about. <laughs> is, this, is, this is like huge. This is like beyond huge. So I'm gonna close my eyes to get one of these heart cards just for a final message here. That's the one, what is it? Here's your art. Is there two cards? No, that's just one. Okay. Thank you for clicking the focus camera. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Yes, 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 yes. I, I know that sometimes it doesn't feel that way, right? It's like a year ago. I know this is a silly, like very simple example, right? The TV example is so simple, but it is like a perfect concrete example for how the universe operates, right? A year ago when I broke my TV, I just remember thinking, it's okay. This is part of a bigger picture, right? This is part of a bigger picture. And then over the past few days, I have been like the... the Phrases like the law of compensation and the law of return kept coming up in my reality. And I was like, hmm, it's time for things to return to me. It is time for things to return. It is time for me to be compensated for all the, all like the energy that I have put out there, right? It is time for things to return to me. It's time for me to receive. And what happens? Like a, a, a replacement TV shows up, like literally just in my bedroom, right? <laughs> and so, uh, just surrender the timing, right? The time will pass and everything comes back. Everything returns. It all returns to you. Let go and it will all work out. I promise, I promise, I promise it will. It's just a matter of synchronizing with the experience. So I'm going to leave you guys there. Sending you so much love and light. Bye. Card number two, what is returning to you? <laughs> I got this. 
this spiral action going on here. Six of wands. Okay, that's amazing. That is your success, your sense of victory, a success, a massive success is returning to you. And so this is partly something that you're going to manifest, something you've been working on, something that would make you feel victorious, right? What 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 is that? That's going to be different for all of you, but you know what that is. Something you've been working on. Um I mean, what's coming up into mind actually if if you're in any kind of um like protracted like legal situation, <laughs> um, this could be, you know, you having success, you having victory, you triumphing in that situation because you are in the right, because you are in the right, you will, you will have this victory. Um, if you've been working on some kind of long-term project and you just didn't know if it was ever going to get off the ground, you're going to have your success. This is like your energy returning to you with that feeling of triumph. And more importantly, um, so there is going to be a physical, tangible manifestation here, but more importantly, this is like going to return to you the feeling that the feeling of being victorious, right? A belief in your own success. That that's what's really being returned to you here. You, like the feeling that you can be successful, the, the knowing that you will always be successful. And that even if there are setbacks or things that don't work out, it doesn't matter because there are just going to be more successes, more victories and more triumphs. So yes, yes, yes. You're going to have success in the thing, in the thing in your life, right? There will be the material success, but, uh, what's even more important and more empowering is the belief in yourself that you are successful. You're going to look and you're, this could even be just, you could have this feeling right now if you sit and look back on your life and look, just look around to see where you are right now. And it doesn't matter that everything's not perfect, right? Think of how much you have achieved so far and you can have this feeling of success and victory right now because you are successful and you are victorious. It doesn't matter that you're like, it doesn't matter about how much better things could still get in the future and how much better things will get in the future, right? You are already successful and victorious. Doesn't matter how your reality looks, right? You can find those su successes and those victories in your life already. And it's just going to get more and you're going to be building up inside of you this feeling of I am successful, right? The feeling of I am successful it is what returning to you. Maybe you had something happen. Uh, you know, maybe it's even years ago at this point, maybe something in your life made you doubt yourself and maybe you've been living in under this cloud of doubt. Okay, this cloud of self-doubt for a while now, but that's, you're going to be coming out of that and you're going to be, be, you're going to remember that, yes, 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 I am successful, right? I am successful. Yeah, exactly. Don't let the past hold you back. South node, right? Don't let the past hold you back. Um, if, if you've been sitting there stewing on um, perceived failures, right? Perceived failures going, ah, oh, like, wh why doesn't anything work out for me? And, ah, oh, this, I tried this, this, and that, and it never worked. Ah, oh, don't, don't let that hold you back. Don't let the hold you back. Don't think about the things that didn't work out in the past. Here's the thing. Even if something didn't work out, maybe, maybe you tried something 99 times. Maybe you tried something 99 times and it failed 99 times. That doesn't mean that the 100th time won't be the time that works. Maybe you make a slight adjustment. Maybe you try something from a completely different perspective and now it works. But don't never, never, never like stop, like stop trying to live your life because of things that have gone wrong in the past, right? Don't let the past hold you back. Don't let those past, um, those past energies hold you back. Just let nothing from the past hold you back. Keep moving forward. Your, your victory is ahead of you. Your victory is ahead of you. The best days are still before you, right? The best days are still before you. And I'm going to close my eyes to get one of these heart cards, but actually it's already that one. Um, I've had my eyes closed. I don't know what this is. <sighs> There's your art. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Now is the time to give to yourself because your success, your victory comes from within. Your, your victory and success comes from within. And... I feel like some of you picked this. Maybe you were hoping that um, that a person was coming back into your life. Maybe if you, if anybody picked this and was like wondering if the, if like your ex was going to come back, right? If something from your past, this isn't really about something from your past coming back, right? Because this is don't let your past hold you back. Don't let your past hold you back. This isn't. Um, 
This isn't about returning to an old relationship or returning to an old job or returning to an old place, right? This is about new things coming into you, that energy having been like cleansed and cleared and recycled, right? The energy that was lost does come back to you, right? The energy that was lost comes back to you, but in a new form. It comes back in a new form. What was lost returns in a new form. And it it's this is not the time to be placing your focus on another, right? Don't place your focus on anyone else. This is when your success and your victory comes from inside of yourself. It's not gonna be coming from from someone returning to you because I feel like for you guys, you need, it's important for you to have this experience of you giving the success to yourself, right? This is what you, this, your whole, whole journey has been about. Um, it's been so that you can have a triumph born of your own efforts, born of your own knowledge, your own wisdom, your own light, so that when you are successful, you know that you created this success for yourself, that you manifested this triumph for yourself, and it is going to be so empowering um, and so liberating because you will know that you did this for yourself and no one else gave this to you, right? This is something you give to yourself, so it is going to liberate you from the past and if you if you are still kind of hung up on something from the past especially a specific person from the past that's not going to matter it's not going to matter you're going to like feel that fade away because you're going to level yourself up into a new frequency where everything new opens up to you so you're going to regain your past feelings of successfulness man i think some of you have um been in you've had some kind of relationship that really like sapped your a sense of self-worth sapped your strength something like that um it doesn't have to be a relationship for everybody right maybe it was just life circumstances that really sapped the life out of you sucked the life out of you sucked down um your sense of strength so, so you've been going through this process of tending your own inner light tending your own inner light lighting yourself up and you are going to give yourself the success that you were looking for and that is why this it's it's all about knowing that you are successful that is what's returning to you so i'm gonna leave you guys there sending you so much love and light bye okay card number three what is returning for you guys <laughs> I thought I got a different vibe for you. This is the tower. <laughs> this is the tower. Very interesting card to get when we're asking what is returning to you. And the impression I get from this is it's like your foundations being shook, right? Your foundations are being shaken. Um, the ground is like cracking open beneath your feet. <laughs> um, so you guys are definitely in the midst of a tower moment. <laughs> it, it's it's like literally I'm seeing like earthquakes in the ground opening up beneath your feet. I mean, I don't mean that you're literally going to experience an earthquake, right? But it's like these foundations are falling away and you might feel like you're falling down into a subterranean structure, like you're falling down into a basement or into a cave, like you're falling down um, beneath the surface. But you know what? Um, when you fall down into the basement, when you fall down into the substructure, when you fall down into the substructure, when you fall down into the subterranean caverns, that's actually a shortcut, believe it or not, right? Um, you're actually going down and from that lower dimension, you can navigate more quickly to where you need to go. This is a necessary shakeup. This is a ne necessary drop because you're actually, um, for you guys, this is less of like what is, returning to you it's more like you are being returned to somewhere there's somewhere that you need to go there's somewhere that you need to return to you this could be literal um you know i mean if you like moved away from your hometown and you build a life somewhere else and then you know your job or your marriage or something like dissolves and collapses or um maybe there's something going on back home like with your family and you need to return back home that's what it, this feels like it's like you're being returned back to where you need to be you are being returned back to where you need to be right um almost like you are being returned to somewhere or to someone um this obviously not it's not going to be a physical move for everybody but 
for, you know, if it's more in your consciousness, right, where your belief systems are being shaken up, being shaken up, or just you're feeling all of these thoughts and emotions just like purging and draining away. It's all of these things are draining away. And this is actually um, so that you can remember who you really are. You are returning to yourself. So you can remember who you really are. And for some of you, this could, this could involve a return to a physical place, a return to a person or a, like a return to a previous way of being, right? A return to a previous way of being, um, like reinvestigating, uh, like starting to wear the kind of clothes you used to wear when you were younger, or starting to do your makeup the way you used to do when you were younger, or doing your hair, um, or listening to music. Like it's like it's almost this is like a retrograde energy. I mean, you know, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you guys are watching this, it'd be interesting to see like what kind of retrogrades are happening, especially if any of the retrograde planets are transiting your sun or anything like that, because this is like you are returning to who you really are, and anything that is falling away from your life right now is no longer authentically you. The thing is, it might have been authentically you for a while, right? It's, you don't have to think, oh, I was false or always oh, on the wrong path. It's like, no, you were on your path. And now your path just involves a, a big shift, a big shift, and you are being returned to who you used to be. Um, but when you return to who you used to be, it's not like you're going back. It's more like a spiral. You're spiraling back. So you're more evolved. You're wiser. You are stronger. Um, but some of the trappings, um, I could even say some of the affectations you picked up along the way are no longer necessary, right? This is really like, honestly, a maturation process. You've been on this journey where you traveled out and explored and picked up all of these new things. And now some of them are falling away because they're not um, required for you any longer. <laughs> void of course moon, void of course moon. This card, this particular card in this Moonology deck, I have a little bit of a beef with it because it says on it, nothing will come of this situation. And that is a little bit of a, like a, a standardized phrase that astrologers have kind of stuck to define the void of course moon. Um, and nothing will come of this situation. What I have learned when I received this card is that this means basically there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. Nothing will come of your worries. Things aren't as serious as they seem. There's nothing to worry about. That's how, like, I, I have received this card for myself on multiple occasions, and that's always how it works out. So that's how I interpret this. There's nothing to worry about. It, it's not going to be as big of a deal as it seems. Everything's going to work out. Everything's going to work out. I guarantee you that the fears, the anxieties, the, the um, paranoia, even the stress pay playing out in your mind right now is, is your mind way overblowing the situation. It's like, yes, you are having a tower moment. Yes, things are shifting. Yes, there is chaos. Yes, you have uh, the stress, you have challenges to handle and there could be stress with this, right? But it's, it's not as bad as it seems. It's going to be okay. Like in a couple days, maybe even tomorrow, maybe even an hour, you're going to wake up and realize like, oh yeah, it's, you know, I can handle this. You're going to realize that you can handle this. You can handle it. You can handle it. You can handle it. And I'm going to close my eyes to get one of these heart cards. Oh boy, look at that. Does not look like the eight of wands. Look at this being receiving all of these rays of light, these massive activations at the third eye, at the throat, and at the lower chakras here. This is like lit up, okay? Lit up. So for, I don't I don't know what's on the back of this card with the message. I'll read it in a sec. But first of all, I just want to say that with all of these this light energy coming in, that's one of the reasons that your mind might be overblowing like um, the situation and making you stress out about it more than you might otherwise. It's because you're, you're receiving like a massive amount of energy, like spiritual activations and downloads and all of this light is hitting you. And that is really, um, you know, agitating to your, your physical body, to your system, to your mind. It's got you like wired up, you're wired up. So this is, this is like really like a purification process and a letting go process. And it's really... Uh, it's so going to be worth it, right? It's so going to be worth it. You're going to let go of so many things that just can't come with you on your path. And it's going to, you're going to feel so light and so free when this is over. I promise it will make sense. Uh, like it, 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 this is all going to fall into place and it, you are going to be able to ultimately understand why this all had to happen. And it is going to work out for the best. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. <laughs> that is a very special message for somebody. 
I'm not gonna comment on that. I'm just gonna let you receive that and let you feel into what that means for you. So, card number three with your tower moment. <laughs> just remember that you are being returned to where you need to be. And wherever this is taking you physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, you are being placed on your path. The tower moment is always this surprise that comes through to quickly and effectively, through chaos, put you onto your path. You are being placed on your path and the path will take you exactly where you need to go. You are being returned to yourself. This process will return your sense of self to you and you will find yourself exactly where you need to be. Card number four, what is returning to you? <laughs> Seven of cups. So you guys got options. You guys have lots of things returning to you. Um, this is gonna be, like you're going to be overwhelmed with options and you might face a fair bit of uncertainty about what you're supposed to do. I feel like you guys kind of throwing your arms up in the air going, universe, I don't understand what you're trying to get me to do. I don't understand the message here. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. I can't see my path. There, There is confusion here. There is confusion here. Um, it's interesting for the seven of cups. This is... um. Returning to you your power of choice is what this actually is doing, right? So sometimes, um, I mean, I, I've been in this situation myself actually fairly recently where I got into this kind of weird frame of mind where I was, I was constantly asking the universe, like, I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do. I can't figure out what you're trying to get me to do. I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do. There's these feelings of like, uh, like, I don't know, I, I got into a weird headspace. It was a Pisces stellium at the, at the time I was like right before I'm filming this, it was Pisces season and there was a Pisces stellium and it got pretty confusing. It got pretty like seven of cups, like every day. It was like kind of a seven of cups confusion situation. So I kind of like lost my, lost my sense of my ability to choose. And I kind of started feeling for a few days there that, that I had to just follow the, like follow the instructions from the universe and it got a little weird. Um, so I think that, I think you guys are kind of in a similar space. And so if you're like looking out into the world and going, I just can't figure out my path. I can't figure out what it is I'm supposed to do. And you've been kind of searching around, asking for guidance, asking for guidance, going, what, is, what am I supposed to do? What are the signs? What are the synchronicities means? And you're getting kind of overwhelmed with options, overwhelmed with choices. Cause it, it some of you might feel like you have a specific number of choices out before you, but others of you might just feel like nothing makes any sense. And it's just kind of this blanket of fog and you're just like, I don't even know like where to start. I don't know where to go. And <laughs> it's funny um, because you might feel like the universe is trying to nudge you in a specific direction, or you might be trying to figure out like, hey universe, where am I supposed to go? But the universe is not going to tell you where to go or what to do, not at this time. Sometimes you do receive specific guidance to go in a specific direction, right? That's not that's not the situation that you guys are in right now. Right now, you are actually being deliberately overwhelmed with options or your path is being deliberately like obfuscated. Um, this is to to so that you ultimately kind of throw your hands up in the air and go, fine, like, <laughs> I'm just going to pick a direction and go. I'm just going to pick something and go. And that's to re-empower your sense of choice, right? This is all about you actually get to choose here. You get to choose. It's what do you choose? So you can drop out of the question of where am I being led? What am I supposed to do? What is What does the universe want me to do? And just instead ask, what do I choose? What do I choose? What do I want? What do I want to create? This is all about your choice, your choice, your choice your choice. So that for you right now, there are no wrong options. There are no, there is no one right option. There might be some options that will be more enjoyable to you and others that will be less enjoyable to, enjoyable to you, but it doesn't matter. They all are going to get you to where, they're all going to get you to your destination in the end anyway. So just pick a direction and go. Just pick a direction that 
I, I feel like some of you, some of you, when I say, what do you want? What do you choose? You'll be able to go, okay, that's what I want. That's what I choose. And then just start going in that direction. Others of you might actually not know what you want, like for, um, like for right now. And for some of you, that might be a very strange feeling. If you're the kind of person who's typically pretty clear on what you want, you might be like, how do I not know what I want? This is so bizarre. And that in and of itself might be kind of traumatizing going like, how, how can I not know what I want? I know when I'm in that frame of mind, um, it comes up for me every once in a while when I don't know what I want and I, that, I find that it very alarming because I'm used to knowing what I want. So it can be very strange. So if you don't know what you want, um, well, you can just sit there and not choose anything. Sometimes that's like just, just, just wait, just wait it out. Sometimes you can be in the seven of cups energy for months. Sometimes this can go on even for years that you can just be waiting and waiting because you're actually doing behind the scenes work. You're doing inner work, you're doing healing and you're just kind of sitting and sitting and waiting eventually you bust out of that. But if you really feel like it is time to act when you have that, like, I need to do something, I need to pick a direction, I need to go, then literally just go anywhere. Just go anywhere. Flip a coin. Um, flip a coin, just do. Um, just just take action in some direction. It doesn't even matter. It's like, sometimes with the seven of cups, just pick a cup up and drink it. Like, right? It's like you need to do something. <laughs> and here you go. Your hard work is paying off. Noon and Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. <sighs> Um, it to me this feels like you've been walking up a mountain path and but it's been really cloudy right it's been if you've ever been on a, on a hike kind of really really cloudy or even a rainy day going for like a rain hike right you're up in the mountains and it's so cloudy it's so foggy you can't see the path ahead of you you can't even see where the top of the mountain is and sometimes you're thinking oh my god I'm never gonna make it to the summit like I'm never gonna make it I'm so tired I've been climbing up this mountain for for, for fucking ever right <laughs> and I'm exhausted and it's raining and it's wet and it's cloudy and it's like I'm just gonna sit down here in a puddle and just like I'm done right but it's like, no, your hard work is paying off. You're almost there. From what I'm seeing with this is like, you're so close to the top of the mountain. You're so close. It's like, just keep going just a little bit further, just a little bit further. And I know that could be triggering to hear because you could feel like I've been pushing just a little bit further. Like you've been in that kind of place of just a little bit further, just a little bit further for so long that it's kind of triggering, right? That feeling of, of you guys have been like pushed You've had to push yourself past the point of all endurance. Like it's like you're at the at the end of your rope. Some of you like this is just this has gone on for an absolutely inconceivable amount of time. Just 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 dig deep, dig deep. Like just mm. <laughs> it's like you're igniting your heart of fire. It's like you're igniting um, a flame inside of you just to get to the end. You're so close, so close, so close. Don't give up before the miracle, right? Don't give up before the finish line. Look at this woman with her, her pink flame here, their foreheads together. <laughs> Cupid's arrow strikes. That's really funny. So some of you um, have been single for too long. <laughs> some of you have been single too long and you're thinking like, am I going to be like alone forever? Oh my God, Cupid's arrow strikes. That's really funny. Um, I'm going to get a second card um, to see you know, for people who aren't single and this is about something else. But even with Cupid's arrow strikes, right? Yeah, actually, no, now they're like, you don't need a different card because this even has a, if your thing isn't romance, if it's not a romance thing for you, then this is um the arrow strikes, the arrow strikes. That's the arrow hitting the target, the arrow hitting the target, right? So um, the arrow is flying through the air and it's just about to hit, it's just about to strike and then everything ignites, right? What was I just saying about ignite and igniting your heart of fire? So I actually feel like, um, Look inside of yourself and what would ignite the fire, right? What would give you that boost to get to the end, right? Maybe you're kind of running on empty and if you could find some, you will get there regardless. It's like, you're gonna get there. With this Capricorn energy, Capricorn always gets there. Like Capricorn gets to the top of the mountain. That is literally what Capricorn does. So don't worry about it. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what uh, which of these seven cups you choose to drink out of. It doesn't matter. You're gonna get to the top of the mountain. I promise that is, that is the energy of Capricorn. Capricorn gets to the top of the mountain. Um, but to make it easier on yourself with this feeling of being past, pushed past beyond the point of all endurance, it's like find something that ignites your fire, right? What, what can you, 
like use to nourish yourself or to light yourself up. Um, this could be something like distracting, right? Like binging a TV show, um, or like going shopping, uh, going for a little weekend getaway, um, you know, what, whatever you can do that, that will like replenish your soul, that re will replenish your soul and light you up. Um, do something just for yourself. Do something that makes you, f do something that you choose to do. Do something that you choose. Practice choice. Practice choosing your path. And this could be even little things like practice choosing a new salad dressing. <laughs> like, it could be anything. Just do something new, do something different, do something that you choose. And it could be something literally as small as like changing your earrings or changing your socks or <laughs> like, or something big, like going on a vacation. It just do something to light yourself up because that, um, that energy is going to help get you to the top of the mountain and going to help boost you there. So, um, That's funny. I don't, I was on this whole rant and I almost forgot what kind of reading I was doing, right? This was supposed to be <laughs> what is returning to you. What is returning to you, right? Um, oh, so it, the thing that is returning to you is your ability to choose. Your ability to choose and your knowledge that you are the one who chooses. So, the th and uh, of course, right, for somebody, the thing that's returning to you is romance. <laughs> that loving connection that you're looking for. Um, but for those of you who aren't looking for romance, this is Cupid's arrow striking the target. You're going to get to the target. You're going to get to the target. And when the arrow hits the target, the thing that returns to you is going to be the feeling of, I was on track all along. I was on track all along. So I'm going to leave you guys there. Sending you so much love and light. Bye. Okay, card number five. What is returning to you? You know, before I started this reading, I saw the number 555, and I have actually been haunted by 555 lately. Um, I could go into large detail about 555, but what I want to just highlight right now is this number five, um, change, 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 right? Lots of things shifting, so I'm very curious to see what is on your card. Six of Cups. Wow. So for me, the Six of Cups is always past life memories. This is such a past life connection. I mean, doesn't have to be, right? The kind of um, more traditional, more standard version of the Six of Cups is this kind of nostalgia. This would be, you know, the standard interpretation of this would be that somebody is returning from your past, like a childhood friend, um, like literally someone coming from your past, or or just that you're sitting around daydreaming, like looking through photo albums and dredging up the past, that nostalgia from the past and having memories, people, um, information, or like finding like a doily your grandma made you, like finding it in a book on your bookcase, right? Finding stuff from the past, having stuff return, return to you from the past. So it could be something very grounded and specific like that. But I'm going to go so far as to say that this is past life memories returning to you. So some of you will have very visceral and vivid experiences of like downloading past life memories. But if that doesn't happen for you, don't worry about it. This is confirmation for you. Like maybe some, maybe some of you have recently been wondering, hmm, I wonder if that's like a past life thing. I wonder if I've had a past life in Egypt or something, right? It's like, yes, this is coming up to confirm for you. Yes, yes, yes. That experience you had that was a past life memory coming up. Because remember that we more often than not, we are energetically remembering past life experiences. We don't need to necessarily have the specific memories, right? But we're pulling the energy from past life experiences. Um, and so the fact that I was talking about uh, five and change, this is actually marking a big shift in your life. These past life memories come up. A lot of the time, past life memories come through when our lives are changing because it's like we're shifting into a new energy. But of course, it's never really a brand new energy um, when you sh actually, you know, just like the spiral on this cloth here, right? When you ride the spiral and you shift to a new um, like spot on the spiral, it's connected to all of the other arms of the spiral. So the shift that is happening in your life, shifting, right, is is connected to some type of past life, you know, so this could be past lives from Atlantis or something coming up. Um, so Egypt and Atlantis are coming through strongly here. Um, you're kind of aligning with them and you're going to be spending 
could be a few days, it could be a few weeks, a few months of actually like retrieving um, energy from those past lives and things that are playing out in your life right now are mirroring things that played out in your past in these other past lives. So um, that's an um, important thing to note here. Uh, any like emotions you're going through or any just like weirdness in your life, um, good or bad, right? Good or bad, it doesn't matter. That is um, mirroring what happened in these past lives. It could be multiple past lives, but you're probably gonna have one coming through most strongly because you, you are actually connecting with all of your parallel selves and you're all working together through the same energies. Like you work through the same energy in many different parallel lives. <laughs> yeah, so full moon in Pisces, balance spirituality and practicality. So definitely, 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 this is... <laughs> How to articulate? It, it's the things you are doing in your physical grounded life. Um, like, you know, if you're moving, if you're having problems at work, if you're having drama in your relationship, or if you're having... Um, like deep, like new levels of spiritual awakenings come through, having like activations and everything pop popping up. That is um, the grounded manifestation of the soul cycle that you're tuning into right now, right? You're tuning into a new soul cycle is what this is. This isn't, but the thing is, it's not new. So you guys, you guys see what I mean, right? Everything is, t well, it got all blurry. Everything is tethered. Everything is tethered together. Everything is tethered together. What you went through in a past life, you're kind of going through the same thing now. You're doing it in a slightly different way and a slightly different variety, but it's all tethered together. And I just feel like for you guys, it might really help you make sense of what's going on in your life right now. If you understand that you are literally like, processing energy from other lives and it's part of this much bigger picture there's a way 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 bigger picture here um that you're you know you'll never really in this life be able to see in totality you get glimpses you come into understanding but you it's impossible for you to see how all of your different lives are connected and how you play out the same patterns in multiple different lives so yeah what's returning to you guys is past life energy past life energy and i do feel that there is going to be like a compensation happening here. I'm here, like here, like compensation, compensation, right? Um, for something that, um, because especially in this life, right? The lives we're living right now, um, we're not doomed to just repeat things that happened in the past life and have them go badly. A lot of the time what we're doing is replaying the same situation from another life, but then navigating through it successfully and having the happy ending that we didn't receive before. So honestly, this is like the happy ending, <laughs> the happy ending or, um, the compensation it's like this is like positive karma returning to you right this time this time around everything works out everything does work out time you are trying too hard give it time give it time isn't that funny because we're talking about parallel lives <laughs> and all of this stuff, right? Um, balance the spirituality with practicality. This is because the thing that you're working on is so big in picture. Um, it's really, really important to just put that into perspective, right? Put that into perspective. Nothing is, your life is not happening in, in isolation. The, like, um, I feel like there's something here about you guys, um, I mean, everybody does this, like everybody does this, right? But it's it's being highlighted for you guys for right now. Um, maybe something has been happening for a sh relatively short amount of time. Maybe it's only been a couple of days. Maybe it's been a couple of years, but in the big picture of things, that's it doesn't matter how long it's been. It's actually a pretty short amount of time. Days or years, from the perspective of your higher self, that's like, like a grain of sand, right? Um, and so if something's been happening for a relatively short amount of time, your human self is kind of going, ah, this is going on for so long. This is going on forever. I'm kind of getting freaked out. This is like forever and forever. Um, and there's like an invitation here to like uh, look at the bigger picture, look at the bigger perspective, look at the bigger perspective of your entire life, right? So step one is put this into perspective into your whole life. Step two would be put this into perspective through all of your earth lives. And step three is like put this into perspective of the entire universe, right? Like go big with it, go big with it. And that way the time starts to seem so, like less important, right? The time starts to seem less important. And that's, um, that's the, the, so 
as you have these past life energies return to you, all of these past life energies return to you, it's going to take a lot of time to integrate all of this because your consciousness is actually being enormously expanded, enormously expanded because you're braiding together all of your like different aspects of yourself from all of these different lives. It's like they used to be kind of around you, but you weren't really in you weren't connected to them that much, but now you're literally connecting with all of these other parallel aspects of yourself um, and their energy is returning to you. And that is massively expanding you because then you're going to be operating um, from a, like a literal, like a higher self perspective, right? Because you're going to be operating as a team with more of your parallel selves and that, that just makes you massively expanded. And then you guys operate, you're greater than the sum of your parts. So you're going through like a huge, 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 huge expansion of your consciousness. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that is the thing to focus on here. Um, you are retrieving past life energy and it is part of a massive expansion of your consciousness. So any, uh, concerns you have about 3d stuff right now, allow it to just be however it is and just know that you're working on a way bigger project right now a way bigger project this is the expansion of your consciousness in a really really huge way a very very huge way and it's just important to tune into that bigger picture perspective as much as you can because your parallel selves are returning to you essentially <laughs> your parallel selves are returning home to you so i'm gonna leave you guys there sending you so much love and light Bye. Okay, card number six. What is returning to you guys? <laughs> oh, the hero fent. <laughs> oh boy. I would say your higher self is returning to you, but of course that doesn't quite make sense now, does it? <laughs> that doesn't quite make sense, but it's more like you and your higher self are, from your higher self's perspective, you have never been separated from your higher self, right? From your perspective, there has been an experience of separation. That experience of separation is falling away dramatically and so what is being returned to you is the experience of unity with your higher self your experience of oneness with your higher self that's really funny because this um picks up almost exactly where card number five left off so i'm gonna bet some of you are watching both <laughs> um so you guys are getting connected with your higher self in a whole new way and it's like for so many of you you already were connected with your higher self it's like you already have been walking your spiritual path and you already you've already been doing it right and you already were connected that it's just it's just opening up even more and more and more um in a whole new level and oh boy this is where i get really challenged it's like how do i even describe this kind of stuff so um the other day I was lying on the couch and I was calling, kind of falling asleep and I felt my pineal gland activate. Like, you know, literally I could feel it in the middle of my brain and I could feel it kind of throbbing and, and coming online and you know, that sensation of it spinning, right? I could feel its energy spinning, its energy spinning. And then I could feel this like disc of energy like coming out around my head. Um, and the interesting thing about that disc of energy is that um, I could feel that it was had like 12 sections to it and that it was the 12 zodiac energies, right? It was the 12 zodiac energies. And I real in that moment, I realized, you know, I'm very sensitive to the shifting of the astrological seasons in every zodiac sign as the sun moves through the signs. I'm quite different. <laughs> I'm quite different to every, every, every astrological season, what, depending on what the sun is, where, where the sun is, depending on what sun, depending on what sign the sun is in, my energy is quite different. I'm very tuned into it. Um, but then I, I realized in that moment when I could, I could feel that like all of the zodiac energies were all coming online around me all at once. And I, I re it, this was like such a big realization for me, right? I realized that I can use my pineal gland, um, to let it like activate, let it spin, let it come online. And then I can get tuned into all 12 of the zodiac energies all at once i can i can tune into everything and that 
that is important. It's like foundational. It is stabilizing. It gives me this sense of wholeness, this sense of stability, because then instead of getting um, like sh constantly shifting as the year goes on, although that's never going to go away entirely, I don't think, right? Um, and I wouldn't even necessarily want it to. I really enjoy exploring all of the different energies as we move through the year, right? But I, in this moment, I experienced that I can bring them all online at any moment and I can have this feeling of wholeness where I'm tuned into all of these different energies all at once, right? It was really like a multi-dimensional experience and I, I realized that we're going to be having that kind of experience more often as we raise our frequency because you can, as you get up higher and higher up in vibration, right, you can tune into these experiences of wholeness, this, these experiences of oneness, of kind of activating more energies all at once, um, it's easier to do that as you raise your frequency and that's just going to happen more and more and more. So I'm explaining all of this because I think you guys are having experiences like that where you're essentially tuning into more of yourself, more of yourself in, in many different ways and it has something to do with, you know, your pineal gland. And right there, we got your third eye. <laughs> third eye floating at the top of this pyramid, right? You're raising up to this higher perspective where now you can see the whole land. You know, if you're at the bottom of this pyramid, you can see the t to the horizon, sure. But if you now you have climbed all the way up to the top of the pyramid, and it's not just your human eyes, but your pineal gland as well, right? Your pineal gland and your pituitary gland, your third eye is seeing from this higher perspective. You're seeing from this higher perspective. So what's returning to you is your higher perspective. Your higher perspective is returning to you. And it's because you are having, you because you have raised your frequency, because you are continuing to raise your frequency, and because you are melding more and more and more every day with your higher self. And can you feel that like sense of, expansion all around you where, where you tune into all of the energies all around you and, and you're not just like isolated into one slice of the pie it's like before you had this experience of being one slice of the pie right but now you're going to be the whole pie <laughs> it, like imagine a pie that was cut into 12 slices but you used to be one twelfth now you're going to be instead of being one twelfth of yourself instead of being one slice of the pie you're going to be the entire pie the entire pie, the entire pie is returning to you guys. You, <laughs> you are going to be your whole self, your whole self and nothing but yourself. All aspects of yourself. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. What is Capricorn doing? Climbing to the top of the mountain. Capricorn is climbing to the top of the period. <laughs> the period. <laughs> Capricorn is climbing to the top of the pyramid. <laughs> climbing to the top of the pyramid to get to the highest peak to bring the light to the tip of the mountain right <laughs> yes your hard work is paying off you have you I mean you've already made it right but with capricorn never really stops there is always a higher peak to summit there's a higher peak to summit To me, this image of these two people, I mean, this could be something, this could mean something for you in the physical. This also is you know, like you and your higher self experiencing, you know, divine union between you and you and self, self and self, the inner twin flame, the vertical twin flame, you and your higher self being two halves of one whole, you and your higher self being perfect, equal partners. Be aware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Ooh, this is so interesting. So, you could take the 3D interpretation of this, of course, right? In terms of the people who show up in your reality. I take this more about creating your reality with your vibration, right? Creating your reality with your vibration. Focusing more on this, the things you admire in someone else, that's something you have inside of yourself, right? The thing you see in someone and you admire it and you think, I wish I could be like that person. I wish I could be like that person. 
The reason that thing resonates with you is because it is also inside of you, because you are also that. You can also be like that. You can also live your life like that. You can have, you can go beyond whatever that person does. You can be just like them, but you can be better than them and better than them because you can be like you, right? It, this is like, as you bring online all of your different energies, right? If, when As you become the whole pie, there's going to be a process here of understanding like the law of one on a much deeper level um, because you're going to realize that it, it's like, <laughs> You're only capable of perceiving things that resonate with you, that, that like literally vibrate inside of you, right? Um, if if there is an energy outside of you that just has completely no resonance with you whatso whatsoever, that doesn't make you vibrate, then it would just pass right through you and you would never even perceive it, understand it, sense it, smell it, feel it, nothing. It would just, you would be unable to interact with it. You'd be unable to interact with it. It'd be just two completely incongruent energies that just just pass right through each other, right? So anything that you see outside of yourself, and this, I mean, when see, I basically mean perceive in any level. Anything that you perceive in any fashion with your physical senses, with your psychic senses, with your feelings, with your vibration, anything that you perceive in any fashion, that's because it is resonating with you. It is resonating with you. So yeah, you know, like this is saying, it goes both ways. This goes both ways for things that you that you like, if you see something, if you see something that you like in someone else, that's because it is inside of you, right? This is, I feel like somebody watching this, at least one person watching this, you might watch, um, you know, people on YouTube, or you might have a like some kind of role model or some kind of somebody that you follow, some kind of figure, right? Some some kind of figure, and you might be like, oh, this person resonates with me so much. I wish I could be more like them. I wish I could be more like them. Um, I wish I could live the life that they're living, that kind of thing, right? Um, you know, so, like that happens to everybody on social media, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but this is the thing that you need to realize is that like, if, if you're having those feelings, it's not really about them. That's the, that's the universe showing you what you already are, showing you what you already are. So if you watch somebody you go, I wish I could be like they are it's because you already are like they are you're just maybe not just doing it <laughs> so it's like get out of your own way and just go be who you already are because if you can recognize that as something that you like in someone else it's else it's because it's inside of you so you just need to allow yourself to just express that more right just express that more um and sa the same thing you know with when you see something out outside of yourself that you don't like um, you're only able to perceive that because that is a vibration that's also inside of you. And I don't think we need to focus on that too much. That's like a side point. <laughs> um, because I think overall, this is such, such an uplifting, uplifting message. And I find myself shuffling for one more card. So let's get one more card, I guess. <laughs> and that's why, that's why <laughs> expect powerful change, new moon eclipse, bam. <laughs> That's really uh, funny, actually, because um, this this Hierophant card, right? This reunion with your higher self, this connecting with parallel selves, this coming together into the sense of wholeness. Um, like, I could call that a soul braid experience, right? A soul braid experience, which to me means like when an aspect of your higher self literally braids itself down into your body and you just become more of yourself. It's like more of your consciousness has returned to you. And I had an experience like that, which I describe um, in my Starseed Awakening video. And I'm mentioning this because that happened for me <laughs> on a Capricorn eclipse. It was a solar, was it a solar eclipse? Yeah, it was a new moon. It was a new moon eclipse. A new moon eclipse. Yeah, the new moon solar eclipse. <laughs> the new moon solar eclipse is when I had this experience, that, like exactly what these cards are, exactly what these cards are. It was, it was, it was crazy. So, I mean, if you want to hear about that, you can watch my uh, Starseed Awakening video. But I just had to bring that up because sometimes these cards come up like this for me to remind me of an experience I had so that I can pass that on. So this is a big deal. Expect powerful change. You could literally overnight have a soul braid experience where more of your consciousness comes into your body and suddenly you find yourself being able to easily live the life that you were dreaming of, right? Easily. It becomes easy to do these things. It becomes e like things that you couldn't do yesterday. Suddenly it is just suddenly more of your consciousness has flowed into your body. Suddenly you were just so much more expanded and you were so much more than you were yesterday and you can do things that you couldn't do before. Fun fact, I started my YouTube channel um, 
just after this soul braid experience happened, just after it. This, this was at like the new moon Capricorn eclipse of 2019, the one that was like on Christmas day. <laughs> and then, so that was Christmas and then The 27th of December was when the the experience like really it was like a three day long event right and then it finally like solidified on the 27th and then January 1st is when I started my Evermind Oracle business and this is something I never could have done before the Soul Braid, ex braid experience right because I just <laughs> wasn't a vibrational match to be able to be putting my energy out there like this uh, so the, really the soul braid experience turned me into who I am today the person that you see in these videos <laughs> and I could not have done it without my soul braid experience and that is what this is basically talking about so what is returning to you is more of your own consciousness more of your own consciousness is returning to you I call it a soul braid experience you can call it something else it doesn't matter but what it mean, literally means is your higher self is you are you are closer to your higher self you are more connected to your higher self and your higher self is like beaming down more of your own consciousness into you so be, you become literally more of who you were than you were yesterday and it, the, the, this can happen you don't need to compare your experience to mine there's any there's an infinite number of ways that this experience can pan out this this experience of embodying more of your own consciousness right and of course we are all embodying more of our own consciousness every single day every single human is doing this every single day but we can have these experiences of like it happening really more rapidly almost to the point where you know i can look back and i have this whole story of how it happened other people have you know overnight shifts in consciousness um you know, even like walking in and walk, like walking out of their bodies and walking back into their bodies as someone new, <laughs> right? Like experiences like that. This is, it can happen very abruptly, very quickly or very long and slowly. But this to me is indicating that you're going to be having a powerful change, a powerful shift, a very rapid and noticeable and obvious shift in your own consciousness because of more of your own consciousness returning to you. So super cool guys wishing you so much luck. Take it easy as you go through this really massive intense shift because things could get weird, but it's going to be so awesome. And this wouldn't be happening for you if you weren't totally fucking ready for it. So it's going to be so much fun. Just try to enjoy the ride. I love you guys so much. Talk to you later. Bye.